wheel is a very good system. It's a it's a, not a tool, but actually a, um, an actual program of a sort. You can do a whole session on a life wheel. Uh, often in life coaching, it's one of the first things you might do if you're a life coach. And you sit down with a client and basically ask them to look at some key areas of their life. Now, uh, where, where we've uh, diverged from other life coaching approaches is we let people put what they want on this wheel. But frequently, the areas are somewhat the same. There's, everybody has a much better life if they've got health. So health is a big area. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, uh, how would you scale your health? So that's a, suppose somebody says, well, I'm at 4 or something like that. Then you draw a, a little sub marker along this and you uh, show where 4 comes to. And you fill it in. I always use the same color, but I want to show all of them on the scale. Now, another area that people focus on is their career. I always draw pictures. I go to multiple countries and they all know the pictures. So career, how's your career going? Uh, and uh, this might be an area they'll scale. Another area is learning. This is a big one for people. It's part of that sense of progress. What are you learning these days? Are you satisfied with the level and quality of your learning? Another key area is uh, money. Uh, are you earning enough money? Uh, you might call this uh, your sense of prosperity. It may not be dollars, but it might be a, a prosperous sense of your world and life. Another area is family. How's your family life? Uh, if you're a family with children, uh, great. If your uh, family still with your family of origin, great. It doesn't matter. Uh, what kind of family experience do you have? Almost everybody has, has this be relevant, even if they are estranged from their family. It doesn't matter. It's still a relevant area for folks. Another area is what I call intimacy and what could be called friendship. So uh, what's your capacity like for forming good friends? Are you somebody who uh, has friends that you rely on? Do you belong to a circle of friends? Or do you have intimate partners? Do you have people to talk to in your life? How, how, how willing are you to talk deeply with those people? See, that's a different topic than family. Some people have families, but they don't really have friends, friendships. They have a wall around them. You see what I mean? So uh, this is a key area in many people's life. How do I build real uh, friendships? Another area is what we call hobbies. Now, hobbies could be anything that the person does, except for the addictive stuff. If, it, if it's got you by the throat, it's not really a hobby. But suppose on your holiday, oh, you love to uh, go and uh, travel. Here's a traveling hobby. Uh, that's a, a, a hobby of, uh, uh, that many people have, or you, you have certain things you do in your spare time. Uh, I don't know if you want to call them hobbies. I'm a writer. I take every spare moment I can and keep working on my writing because it gives me such joy. So in some sense, it's a hobby. Uh, some people go kayaking. I used to love kayaking as well. Or you have some kind of activity, hopefully a, 
an activity that's as di different from what you do in life as possible so that you get variety. Uh, where are you with this area? It's also the area of self-development, a very key area of development. And finally, in terms of satisfaction from 1 to 10, uh, this blank could be filled any way you want to. Uh, some people fill it with spirituality. How's your spiritual life? Some people fill it with uh, core areas that are completely unique to themselves. Uh, something deeply meaningful. What's really meaningful to you? How do you know that your life is on track? So we call this a life wheel. And um, it's a delightful way to sit down with a potential client and just basically do an assessment at the front. Because people, after you discuss with them, you, you know, they say, well, what is coaching? And you go, blah, blah, blah. This is coaching. And you describe it a little bit. And they say, well, I think my life is working OK. I don't need a coach. <laughs> How many of you have had this conversation? OK, usually. Now, generally, they're thinking of some simple, uh, specific areas of their life that work well, wonderful. But say, do you want to play for a minute? And sit down with them and draw this wheel with them and ask them, on a scale from 1 to 10, are there any of these areas that you would like more satisfaction in? Where would you scale yourself right now on the scale from 1 to 10? And immediately, they get interested because you've taken away the negative. First of all, the coach isn't evaluating them. They're studying themselves. Uh, secondly, they're studying themselves on a scale from 1 to 10. That makes it interesting. And as soon as they look at it, uh, they begin to notice some areas that uh, perhaps uh, they, they say, oh, well, you know, I haven't read a book in the last two years, but gee, that's one area. And you say, OK, well, how could you move that one up one point? And all of a sudden, they've started a coaching session. 